What is up, everybody? This is EnigmaCraft86 coming back at you on Forgoing Episode 27. Yes, 27. And you see, I added quite a few more uh, cloches. Um, the last one I just entered in was or put in was uh, steel. I don't think we have. Oh, never mind. Apparently, we don't need this. We don't need you. Anyways, my bad. There we go. Oh, my help of having my arm back. All right, let's eat some stuff real quick. And real quick, I think I have been working on this for a while. Because this is all seared bricks. This is not easy to do. This is a very big building. And, um, I'm actually kind of happy with it. I mean, it looks pretty cool. Still need to, I think the door's going to be right here. Yeah, I got, uh, these sections right here. Which, I don't know, I actually kind of like this. I think I did a pretty good job on it. And falling from there hurts really bad. But, yeah, it's coming along pretty good. This might be our new base. Because I like the way it looks. It's a lot better than whatever in the world I was trying to build over there. And back here, I was thinking of actually putting, a, what are they called? Water mills. Or water wheels. Yeah. But, yeah. Now, just to get up to the other part. Because I built it, and then I realized, hey, you don't have any stairs. Which I don't know if we could actually turn these. Oh, we can. But I might try a different color for stairs. But hopefully you guys enjoy it. I mean, it's not too bad. Uh, let me do something real quick. F1. There we go. Yeah, once we get some stairs in there, we might start moving in here. But one thing that's been bugging me for a little bit is the fact I have to run out there and to get the essence. So I've set this thing up to make a few things. Now let's go count how many cloches we actually need to do. And this one, oh, that is really full. Okay, calm down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22. Wow, 22 of those. So what we're going to make today is called an external storage uh, sorry, something just popped up on my screen. I don't know where is called an external storage. We need 22 of those. Let's see if we can make it. I already taught it all the recipes. Why? Okay, that's not the one I want. This one is. And then you will run into situations where, yeah, that doesn't work. So this is the new one. Let's see if it works now. And we wanted 22 of those, right? Yeah. All we're needing is 8, really, 8 silicone. See, this is why I want those. Must run. Okay, silicone is this one right here. No, silicone, silicone, silicone. There it is. Stack should do. And yeah, this is all just temporary, so. Okay. And I should be able to start it. Nice. See, this is what I love about auto-crafting. 
Look at that. Making all the stuff. But, while we're waiting on that, uh, a few other things I want to talk about. This is my first foregoing after my computer failed on me. Darn you, computer. Oh, no, it's actually my stupidity. Um, I pretty much rebuilt this computer. It had, I came with a frame and everything, and I upgraded it quite a bit. Like, yeah, uh, quite a bit. Let's just leave it at that. And my great thought was, hey, I forgot to do something. Change out the power supply. So this fairly beefy computer, because I can run, uh, what mod pack is that? Fullcraft 3 without a problem. And, yeah, it was running with a 450 uh, power supply. Yeah, it didn't work very well. Apparently, I overworked it or something. Uh, let's see, where, how far are we? We got one. Wow, it's going to be a minute. But anyways, uh, yeah. So, I upgraded that, and it running perfectly fine now so you guys don't have to worry about me missing any more videos uh let's see what else uh something else i might be start doing is i'm trying to find a server and some people to record with i probably should stop jumping around um so i might i was actually going to originally uh open my own server for the time being and just have a few people play on there and record with but the server I went through apparently it only does 1.7.10 mod packs uh, so that was a fail I might still use it I don't know yet uh, but besides that I might start going like to all these different uh, servers I know about and start checking them out and recording on them just a episode or two or maybe if not more just to show you guys what it's like and what they're like and everything else so if you guys have any suggestions for servers feel free to uh, let me know I'm not much into vanilla just to warn everybody I I don't know it's just something with me I oh this should be done now but I just never really cared for it that much Alright, we're going to need a lot more cables. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh... How do I get rid of you? There we go. Shift, right click. Shift, right click. There we go. Now, let's see if we can get some more of those cables made, because we're going to need a lot. Uh, can we make 20? Cool. Can we make... 32. Sweet. That made them a lot faster than I thought. Oh, we actually already had 22. Alright, it's sunset, so let's go ahead and sleep. Seriously. But yeah, we're going to get all this hooked up. And... I'm trying to think. Sorry about that. I should have, let's see, should be right about, I'm using a baguette. Where's my, oh, there it is. Okay, let's see, disk drive, uh, we might be able to wire it off that. There we go. Well, let's actually go underground. So I don't want too much of this uh, sticking out. Do I have a shovel? I do. My cobalt shovel. Let's go ahead and break you down a little bit. My very overpowered shovel. Okay, right here. Let's 
try right here. Ooh, so close. Okay, let's see if we can... Dang it, that's what I was trying not to do. Okay, and we're going to bring these cables all the way up there. Uh, after I figure a way out. No, let me... Fine then, you can keep that spot. And how we're going to run this is very easy. Just basically up here. There we go. And we're just going to start from this end way over here. And basically, this is the one thing I love about uh, refined storage over applied energistics is because you don't have to worry so much about the amount of things you put on one line. Actually, I should have made one more. Because I, I don't like this thing just sitting right here. So let's go ahead and take this stuff out. One, two, three, four. Okay. Now let's go ahead and click on this one and throw this in here. Throw all this in there. There we go. Let's go ahead and make one more of those. Uh, let's see if we can do it real quick. Shouldn't take as long as the last time. You don't have to craft as much. Yep, there's that. There we go. See? Only took a minute. Not even a minute. But with all our access to these, this will make it uh, a little bit easier. To craft things and plus I don't have to walk out here for everything oh I hate these cables at times though there we go now if we come and look at our system let's actually look here eh, that's not too bad see there we go now we have all of our stuff in our system and we can just basically go to town and not have to run back and forth for the time being and yeah, this is kind of a colossal mess over here. But there was one thing I wanted to get into today, and that was actually roots. Root. No. Oh, where is it? Um, woot, not root. There we go. Alright, Woot is a very interesting mod. Um, it basically is like a... Um, how would you say? Spawn... Or... Er, for what they call them. Basically a mob room. Or a... Mob grinding room. But without the mobs. That makes sense. But, we're going to have to... Make a few things. That is the hammer. Ya yeah, hammer. And now we have to make this anvil. This is one of the things that is can be used for anything. Wait, why can't I... Do I actually have to find it? To make that, do I have any iron ore? I do. I have plenty of iron ore. 
And what was the last thing for that? Netherrack. Oh, hey, that works. All right. Let's make a good amount of these. 16 should do. Now, let's see what we can do with them. They can be smelted. Let's see. Can they be smelted in here? All right. We got that. Now we're going to need the block. And now this. Now, I don't, does this have a GUI? No. No, it does not. All right. Well, one thing we're going to want to make first is the factory. Okay, we're going to need some more, a lot of the soul sand. So we need soul sand and the hammer. How much soul sand do we have? Eh, we have quite a bit. We'll just do this way. And the good thing about the... Where's my hammer? Go. Not hammer. Hammer. Good thing about this. Look. No durability taken off that. So. I don't think there's actually a book on this. But the first thing you want to build is one of these prism tools, which I think we might be able to make right now. All right, we're missing a few dies. Red. And there we go. This is another reason why I wanted to uh, connect all of them, because that would have been a pain to run back and forth. But I should almost, let's see if we have everything. We do. Good. What the prism does, I believe, you can right click on an entity and it will, it has a kind of a cool little texture. Um, it will, uh, oh, but the, there's a manual, but you can't craft it. Oh, okay. But, uh, yeah, there's not like how to phrase it. Try to think of how am I gonna phrase this. Um, basically, you can. It's like the mob imprisonment tool. Okay, that's not gonna work. How much stone do we have? Does it have to be stone? But uh, it's a mob imprisonment tool, and but without having to actually spawn any of it. Soul dust. Um, soul dust. Can it not be in one of these? Okay, I did that a minute ago. All right, we got that. Now we're wanting to mail this factory controller first, so we're gonna need one of these plates. Which I don't know. Oh, hey, it worked. Okay, we got the plate. Now where's the mob controller? Oh, that's nice. For factory. And now we need a controller. Okay, we have to make one of these dies. So how much more of this can we make? One, two, oh. Now to make or soul sand, gravel. Okay, how do we make this mesh?
bar. All right, we're going to test out this anvil real quick. Now, do you... Or does it have to be in the crafting recipe? No. Hmm. Okay. Maybe hit it with a hammer. But it's not letting me put anything in. Oh, okay. Magma block. Okay, thank you for letting me know. I might have a magma block or two. So we're going to have to move this a little bit. So move this. And where's my pickaxe? Right there. Magma block. Okay. That will let me sit. No, it will not let me set that down. Why? Huh. Alright, I might actually do some research off camera about this. Because it says... I should be able to just... Put the iron bar up here. Maybe hold it in my left hand. And it sounds like there's a zombie outside. Let me sleep. Let the. I should sound like a villager zombie. All right. I don't know. This is not making any sense to me. Can I do it in here? No, I can't. Alright. Guys, I'm going to let you go on this for right now. Sorry about that. Uh, we will get back to it in the next episode. Um, just a little cleft hanger. Will I get it running? Most likely. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe. Any comments, concerns, or anything else, put down in the comment section down below. And if anything else, just hit me up. And until next time, this is NigmaCraft86 saying take it easy. Later.